Elon Musk just announced the timeline for launch for the IFT-3 Starship launch from Starbase, Texas. Now, it came in a weird way, though, and we'll get to that in a, just a minute. But let's talk about some of the things that have been happening down at Starbase recently. Now, first and foremost, we have to talk about upcoming road closures, because with the road closures, we know there's going to be some testing down at Starbase. Now, Starship is fully stacked right now with the ship stacked on top of the booster, and that is in a flight configuration. So we have to know what's going on next. And the way we do that is we look at road closures. Of course, primary date, February 12th, 2024. It's been canceled, closure revoked. It was from 8 a.m. till 8 p.m. at night, which is a full day of testing for Starship, which means they'll probably do a full wet dress rehearsal. And on the 13th, we have the closure being revoked between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. But on the 14th, on Valentine's Day, closure is still scheduled. Highway 4 and Boca Chica Beach will be closed. So it looks like SpaceX has alerted Cameron County that they will be doing some testing on the 14th of February, on Valentine's Day, which is pretty cool. That's also the anniversary of this channel. So that'll be a really nice anniversary present for the Space News pod. Also, a really nice anniversary present would be a thumbs up on this video. Wink, wink. Now let's check something else. We got to check this out too, because we know they don't have a flight license yet, but this is the TFR list. Basically, the FAA puts this out and tells everybody uh, when things are going to be flying. So if there's going to be a rocket flying, we would see it in this. But the only time we see this, it's way back here. 1229 2023 and that's for a security flight going into brownsville texas and that is nothing to do with spacex or um you know or the starship so let's move on to some other things that spacex has done flight three starship this is the flight like startup for an in space burn they've already tested this as a single raptor engine test so this is already done Starship has been stacked on top of the booster, so they don't need the um, they don't need to static fire this anymore. There's also some photos of a six engine static fire that they've already done. So they know the engines work. They know that the booster works as well. We have a 33 Raptor engine ahead of flight three Raptor engine test from the booster. Now let's move on to the next one. Flight like wet dress rehearsal at Starbase today. That was from January 23. This is what we're going to see on Valentine's Day. It's going to be similar to this. Very similar to this. The full stack, the booster, and also the ship will be at Starbase at the launch pad ready to go. So this full wet dress rehearsal, they're going to load the thing up. They're going to do everything that they're going to need to do on launch day. But the one thing they're not going to do is they're not going to launch the rocket. So they check out all the plumbing inside the rocket, check out all the electronics, check out the staff. Everybody that works there has to be part of this as well. So they go through all the routines that everybody has to do on flight day. They also make sure that uh, security is in place. There's so many moving pieces and parts to this. So they have to make sure that everything is absolutely perfect because when all those systems run perfectly, then the flight will go well. And if the flight goes well, hopefully they can make it to uh, Hawaii, off the coast of Hawaii with the Starship this time. They're going to do two cool things this time, too. So Starship in the future will be launching Starlink satellites, and they'll be launching hundreds of these things a month, possibly thousands of Starlink satellites per month. And they have a mechanism within the Starship to launch the Starlinks. And apparently this uh, round, uh, Flight 3, they're going to check out one of the mechanisms or some of the mechanisms within the starship during this flight we don't know exactly what mechanisms it is but we've heard different rumors and different murmurings that it could be the um the mechanism inside that pushes the starlink down every time that a new starlink flies out of the front it's going to push the mechanism down and it kind of goes around in a circle so or in a loop, sorry, not in a circle. So they may be testing that this time. They're also doing a propellant load test, um, doing from tank to tank propellant load test. And that's for future flights when Starship will be transferring propellant from a Starship ship to uh, from a transfer vehicle to a Starship ship, from a tanker to a Starship. So 
in the future that's going to happen and this is what's going to happen in uh flight three ift3 of starship now we have to look at some other thing too i want to show you this because the massive scale of this thing is just out of this world it's absolutely the biggest thing ever and i want to show you this tweet that elon did this post on x that elon did starship super heavy rocket booster people for scale okay so you can see the top of it, it looks pretty big right this building is quite large. It's about 300, uh, maybe 350 feet tall or something like that. It's, it's massive building. And then these people way at the bottom, tiny, tiny people. Uh, this is about 250. Let's just round it to 250 feet uh, for the booster. That's a huge thing. 25 story building. They're going to try to land that back at the launch site when they get to a point that they can do that not this flight that's not going to happen this flight they're going to try to do a a soft landing in the uh, gulf of mexico though a propelled soft landing in the gulf of mexico last time ift2 they did the boost back brown they did a flip basically and during that flip uh the booster blew up so they didn't make it back but hopefully for ift3 they can do the flip and the booster will make it through and they can soft land it in the gulf of mexico and if they get to that point that's a game changer. Elon Musk, SpaceX want to make life multi-planetary. And this is the first step to do that. Make sure that the booster comes back. They need all these boosters. They need to be able to have a fully reusable rocket so they can send thousands of these boosters up and thousands of ships to uh, another starbase, which is on Mars. They also need this technology to get people to the moon for the Artemis program. So if they do that flip and they land this booster, this is a game changer. This is a huge deal for Starship and for SpaceX and for all of humanity. We're going to go be a multi-planetary species someday. And this is the rocket that's going to do it. Now, I want to show you this thing too. This is from SpaceX themselves. It's the booster again with the people below it. But here's another, here's another image. Look at how tiny those people are down there. There's a person. I don't know if you can see this. There's a person down here, right here. This is a little, little person right here. Look at how big that is compared to that person. Absolutely massive. And then of course they had to move the ship down to the launch site. They were moving the booster and now they're moving the ship down. Now they're stacked up. Last night they de-stacked them and they did a fit check before they actually did the wet dress rehearsal. And they usually do that. So they do a fit check. They have the booster on the stand and then they put, they raise the ship on top of it. They make sure everything fits. All the plumbing goes well. All the electrics go well. All the, because these things move around a lot, you know, they're going down the roads. They're moving in and out of construction facilities and production facilities, moving all over the place. So things may warp a little bit and they have to make sure that they all fit. So they did that last night. They took it off. They're going to put it back on. And then when they put it back on, they make sure that it fits again. And if it fits, that's great. And then they're going to go forward with a full wet dress rehearsal. And then after that, Basically, when the FAA gives them the go ahead and when they give them the thumbs up to launch this thing, they're going to uh, put on the flight termination system, get it ready for flight, and then they'll be ready to go. Now, the important thing is, though, Elon Musk announced at one point, what time will this launch? What time frame is this? How much more time do we have to wait until this launch? Well, a really weird tweet actually showed up from Kanye West. He said, Elon, where my rocket ship? Elon commented back, Starship, we're meant to fly and our next one launches in about three weeks. But I recommend waiting for a few more test flights before hopping on board. And then he tagged Nicki Minaj too. So from Elon Musk to Kanye West, we have a sort of behind the scenes three weeks for the Starship to fly. So early March, maybe mid-March. I mean, it's it's the 13th. It'll be the 14th when they stack this thing up and maybe do a wet dress rehearsal. So we're just waiting on the FAA to give them clearance. And a few weeks ago, the FAA said SpaceX didn't even put in all the paperwork yet. So we're waiting on SpaceX and the FAA to, uh, to continue boosting this through and get it through. But there's another weird thing too. I want to show you this before we go. Uh, it, it is a Starship-esque thing. But I want to show you this tweet from Elon Musk, um, just so we get the the uh, air clear here, because there's been a lot of stuff going on now. Number of false news reports claim that SpaceX is selling Starlink terminals to Russia. 
That is categorically false. To the best of our knowledge, no Starlinks have been sold directly or indirectly to Russia. So there's, there's a few things going on here. Uh, there's a bunch of people saying that people in Russia, uh, you know, the Ukraine, Russia thing, um, that Russians are using Starlinks to communicate or to, you know, do whatever they have to do over there. Um, and Elon is saying, we've never sold any to Russia. We don't know what's going on here. Um, does that mean that people in Russia can't get Starlinks? No, they could get a Starlink. I'm sure they can. Um, you know, to their knowledge, though, to the best of our knowledge, SpaceX doesn't know of anybody who has sold directly or indirectly anything to Russia. So does that mean they're not using it? You know, we'll find out. We'll find out later, I'm sure. But as of right now, they haven't sold any to Russia. So that's like a little side thing. It's a it's a SpaceX. It's a Starship because Starship will be launching Starlinks in the future. So just want to point that out. But we have three weeks until Starship launches, possibly. How excited are you? Please leave a comment down below. Also, uh, like this video, but also one more thing before I go. Um, I could really use your help. If you hit the subscribe button, and I know this is a weird thing to ask. I mean, it's YouTube, so I guess it's not too weird. Uh, if you hit the subscribe button, this is how it works. You'll get other spaceflight channels in your feed. Maybe not this channel. You might get this channel too, which would be great for me. I love it. I'd love to have a community here. So please hit the subscribe button and become part of the flight crew here at Space News Pod. There's a link to our Discord in the description below too. So join that too. But if you do that, you'll see other channels that are space flight channels on your feed and YouTube will start pumping you more space flight news and reviews and other channels that you're not aware of that has have really cool content. I do it all the time. I look at other channels and I'm like, hey, this is a cool channel. And I know space flight is in my blood. It's in my heritage. My dad and my grandpa were both into space flight and engineering. So, um, you know, the, the whole thing, I want to see as much as possible. And if you subscribe to channels like this one, you're going to get them all in your feed, which I love. I want to see as much as I can. I want to learn as much as I can. So please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you think it's really going to launch? You think it's really going to launch? uh in three weeks let me know down below all right thanks everybody take care of yourselves and each other and i'll see you next time